Uh, I think that um, there is a, an ancient relationship between Italians and Americans. And uh, I know for sure that American people have a, have a good relationship with their country. We love each other a lot. And uh, every time when I had the chance to come in USA, I had the, ch I had the feeling to be uh, welcome. Mm -hmm. And I'm just arrived today, I'm just landed in Charleston. I just had the chance to take a walk around, but uh, I felt very uh, comfortable. I like and, and I really enjoyed that city. It's so beautiful, so elegant. I can't wait to try all the restaurants and <laughs> make some shopping. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm very glad that there is this Italian Film Festival here. Well, it's my third time in Charleston instead, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more and more familiar with the place and the institution. It's my first time at the film festival, however, I know that Charleston has a long history of, uh, of its relationship with Italian arts, with the arts in Italy at least. So, um, and I also, I also believe that it is very much a gem as a town um, and I, I wouldn't imagine a better place in some levels I mean certainly it is extremely vibrant it's a, it's a vibrant community uh, and it's small it's not huge which you know uh, adds to it at some level I was invited and I <laughs> gladly came back um, it's you know, it's. I think it's always stimulating to come to events like this. You know, it's 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 extremely important. It's also important for us to be here and represent. You know, and I think that we do our best to to do a good job, to be of service. Yes, for me, I, I was very curious to come in Charleston because I heard about that town uh, so many times. Because every times. Uh, I got some friends in USA, I used to live in New York actually, and I remember uh, people always told me that Charleston is probably one of the ancient towns in USA. And uh, I was attracted by the idea to visiting uh, in USA, which for me means uh, something very new, very modern, uh, a town which has a past uh, and who preserved their own past. Uh, and they're proud of it. In this, in this sense, maybe we are similar with Italy. Today, walking around, uh, I thought that maybe Charleston is for USA, maybe what uh, Siena is in Italy. It's a small town where you can walk around, beautiful building, uh, the sense of the past, uh, and, uh, and I like, of course, the feeling. Yeah, it's uh, it's a road movie in a way. It's a documentary, but it's disguised as a feature film, fiction film. I mean, and uh, but it's all true. It's a documentary, and uh, it's a trip across the country, and uh, up and down with an old Fiat 500, which is a lovely little car, quite uncomfortable, especially for me because I'm tall. And um, we 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 met people. We met people. And uh, we interviewing 12 people all around the country, and uh, each of them has a story to tell. Uh, you know, I, I, I made another film before as well with the Gustav Hofer together. And um, with that film, we, we travel a lot around the world for over three years hosted by film festivals and other events. And uh, we had the chance to meet Italians all around the world. They, they are in everywhere. There are Italians in uh, Japan, in wherever, in Uruguay, in Finland. And uh, so we realized that uh, there are lots of Italians, especially young students, who decide to, to move abroad, looking for a better future. And so we realized that uh, it's a problem in a way because we need of those brilliant guy. We need it in our country because our country is in trouble, as I told you, and we need of those talents if we want to change, if we want to solve the country. 
but they are abroad looking for a better future and it's their right to, to do it. I, I can't force them to stay. So we, we want to make a film in order to, to show them that maybe they should come back because we need them. Oh, okay. That was the idea for the film, the inspiration.